Uh, yes. Oh, man. Am I running late yet? I'm almost running late. Hey, it's Wednesday. It's hump day. Hope you're humping. Mm. My name's Chris. I'm a fan of the Timberwolves. Everybody who's injured is still injured. They're not going to play. There are nine players available for the Timberwolves tonight. Usually you have 13 players available. That's okay. Rick doesn't have more than a nine or ten man rotation anyway, right? Although it usually wouldn't be these nine men. Who are the nine men, you ask? Well, let's see. With Chase out, Greg Steamsman will be starting in his place. Uh, we have Derek Williams. We have Lou Ridnour. We have... Uh, who are the other two starters? I should know, right? They're probably people who are going to start anyway. Luke, Derek, Greg, uh, and two more guys. Wow. If my life depended on it, I could probably tell you who those guys were, right? Luke Ridnour, Derek Williams, Greg Steensma. Pardon me. Will Dante start? Maybe. I don't know. Dante Cunningham. Uh, Andre Kirilenko will start. That might be the five starters. Who else have we got? We got Lou Robinson. Lou! We got some other white guy and some other white guy. No, we got Will Conroy. We got Malcolm Lee. That's eight. Oh, you know what? Malcolm's probably going to start, not Dante. Luke Ridnour, Derek Williams, Greg Stevenson, Andre Kirilenko, Malcolm Lee. And then the reserves, Dante Cunningham, Lou Amundsen, Will Conroy, and the other guy. Uh, let's see, that, that, not that guy, he's injured. Not that guy. This is really boring, isn't it? They'll come to me later. Anyway, big game tonight against the Bobcats. I guess for the Bobcats, you don't really try to knock yourself out and come back uh, partially healthy. So, Pekovic is out, Roy is out, Beret is out. And I would put them all down as doubtful for Friday, too. We'll see. The thing is, after Friday, there's five days off until the next, next game, next Wednesday. So, hopefully these nine dudes are still good enough to beat the Bobcats. I suspect they are. Friday, we got the Warriors. The Warriors are always tough. About 500 against the Warriors uh, in recent years. So, I don't know. So far, undefeated at home. So, we hate to lose one at home. So kind of hope we'll win tonight, kind of hope we'll win Friday, too. And then kind of hope we'll win next Wednesday, and then just finish out 80-2. Um, and two. Why not? We'll see tomorrow what the record is after the game's over, though. And I'm sure I'll have exciting stories about it. Who am I missing? Someone's going to be really mad at me. As if they paid attention to me. They don't. Let's see. Yeah, okay. So Beret's out, Love's out, Rubio's out. Roy's out. Pekovic is out. Buttinger is out. And there's one guy who's not injured, and I can't remember who it is. Oh, it's Alexi Shved. Well, that's not right. Nice of me. Shved, very streaky. I do like that he's fearless. He will miss and miss and miss, as he did on, uh, when was the last game? It was Saturday, right? Yeah. Saturday against the Bulls. Oh, no, maybe it was Monday against the Mavericks. Whichever game it was, he missed and missed and missed, and then finally in the fourth quarter, he just made everything, including some really clutch threes. Yeah, I think that was the Mavericks game where he finally, his three pretty much iced it. Uh, the Mavericks ended up getting 82, but his was the one the guys to 82, and then Luke had won the guys to 85, and then we ended up winning by a lot, but yeah. It was very satisfying to beat the Mavericks, too. But in that Mavericks game, before Pekovic went out, he had 20 points, so he was doing 
a lot of work. And I don't know how we match up with the Bobcats. Are they big this year? They're tiny. They're probably big. We got a couple big guys. As long as Steamsma stays out of foul trouble, it would be tough. He likes to pick them up. But we got Lou. Lou picks up fouls too, though. So really, you know, if Steamsman and Lou both get into trouble, I don't know what you do. I guess you have a... Uh, well, who do you have to play center out of that? You, you don't. I don't know. So anyway. Malcolm will probably start. And then Dante will come off the bench for Derek. And well, I don't know. Will will get a lot of minutes. We usually doesn't get any minutes. That'll be interesting. So that was my Timberwolves ball team memory of the day. Thank you for sticking with me so far. Uh, let's talk about the comments I forgot to talk about yesterday. That was one from James that I missed. Going back to the guy who on YouTube asked me if I was Jewish, James uh, offers the theory that I assume the Jewish question was merely a reference to your last name. It could be a Jewish name. I don't know. It's really, it's a German name. Have you noticed that all the famous Zimmermans changed their name and you don't know them as Zimmermans? Ethel Merman. Bob Dylan. Dead Mouse. I think he was a Zimmerman with two N's, though. Does he count? James continues, I don't always post the Wii U, 3DS, and Xbox 360 games threads all in a row. Sometimes you do, though, because I can tell from the beeps I get on my pager. Pager. On my smartphone. It's like a pager. I get a text. Which is why when someone starts 100 threads on the W, I'm on there to like take care of it really quickly, because... My phone goes crazy. I don't always post all those threads in a row for reasons far too boring to bother explaining. I don't know. Nothing's too boring for this show. Continue the hunt for the gingerbread Oreo. We're all counting on you. I haven't seen any. I believe they exist. I just I haven't seen any. Uh, I have two Walmarts that I can check. I don't know when I'll get to doing that. When will I be by Walmart next? I'll try to check this week. I don't know. I hope it hasn't come and gone. I don't really know what the time frame was on that. When I went on the internet, most of the posts I found were from people who like knew it existed but couldn't find it. They couldn't find it either. But a lot of those were from early November, and it's already middle November, so I don't know if it's a Thanksgiving thing or... Last night I did start getting my Thanksgiving stuff together. I need to... Uh, I didn't realize I was out, but I am. I'm out of steam trays. So i got to get some giant trays for baking uh, stuffing. I usually do three half trays worth one stays home and then kind of divvy the other two out amongst the family. But i got my sausage. i got my uh, breadcrumbs, but I don't have bread yet next week. Um, probably need some fresh celery and onions off to check. Steam trays, though. I don't think Costco sells them in the size I want. Uh, it's going to be tough. Speaking of Thanksgiving, Mr. Respect the Bird, Doug says, if I could give you an 11, I would. Oh, thanks. Respect the CRZ. Need to look at the T-Wolves January schedule so I can make a business trip coincide with a home game. Let's see what we got here. January. Boy, there are only six games in January. There are a lot of road games in January. Boy, January's going to be tough. So it's January 5, 8, 17, 19, 23, and 30. Do you care who they play? The Brooklyn game is the 23rd. That'll be interesting. I'm sure they'll have revenge on their minds from us spanking them after going down 22. What do you think of the fight between Boyer and Gordon? Well, it would have been better if it was Boyer and Gordon as opposed to their crews. But Gordon kind of got hidden away like a little girl, so... I don't know, I lost a lot of respect for Jeff Gordon. Not that I, well, yeah, I guess I did have a lot of respect for him. I liked him more than Johnson, that's for sure. A lot of people are asking, are you rooting for Keselowski or are you rooting against Johnson? My answer is uh, yes. I like Keselowski and I also don't like Johnson. So it's been pretty good for me. And I think uh, it's going to turn out pretty good after Sunday. If you could create your own Oreo flavor, what flavor would it be? Peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. I don't know. Uh, you know what my real answer is? Hydrox. Can we get a Hydrox Oreo? That would be awesome. This continues in one question. So go to the W, T-H-E-W dot com.
go to one question and answer. What would your Oreo flavor be if you could create any Oreo flavor you wanted? I spent too much time hemming and hawing earlier, and as a result, we are now out of time. But thank you for watching. We got into a groove after I remembered the name of the ninth man, who was not really the ninth man. He's more like the sixth or seventh man. But. So for Luke Ridenour, Derek Williams, Greg Steen, Mr. Andrew, Kerry Lenko, Malcolm Lee, Dante Cunningham, Lou Amundsen, Will Conroy, Alexi Schmidt, and myself, CRZ, thank you for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.